Hello everyone. Welcome to our 13th annual Poetry Festival. This is Don't Bug Me. Though there have been floods and plagues and droughts, the bugs survive, there is no doubt. Meteors and long ice ages don't interrupt the larval stages. On mammoths we have laid the wreath and tigers that had saber teeth. Black rhinos and white dolphins gone. Still creepy crawlers, they live on. I'd surely rather not depart, at least live always through my art. But what good's immortality for just the cockroaches and me? <laughs> <laughs> My unfinished symphony. I'm so scared. Suppose I die and never leave behind anything that was unfinished. Beethoven had his unfinished symphony. The greatest artists and philosophers all seem to have died with works in progress. Without something unfinished, I'm afraid my life will have been empty and meaningless. In my youth, I used to wonder why Beethoven didn't finish his symphony. What could he possibly have chosen to do that was more important? <laughs> Perhaps he died with pen in hand, desperately struggling to lay down the final notes before he expired. Maybe, if he was married, his wife had asked him to take out the trash at the very moment the inspiration for the ending was about to overwhelm him. <laughs> or maybe he just thought he had all the time in the world and wasn't even worried about it. I also wonder, was he happy or sad that he didn't finish? I'm certain he wouldn't want someone else to finish his symphony. But then again, maybe he wouldn't mind that at all. But he surely would be happy the world even noticed an unfinished composition he left lying around the house. Or then again, maybe he didn't think it was good enough to show anybody. But all those are Beethoven's troubles. My trouble is this all-encompassing fear that I will die with an unfinished work. This effort, my unfinished symphony, may be my best one yet. Surely, with just a little effort, I can improve upon this first draft but I'm too afraid I'll finish. <laughs> this poem is inspired by a painting that my friend from Brooklyn drew, and uh, I did a little research, and I realized that Brooklyn and I have a lot in common. Escape from Brooklyn. This ride has been a bundle of contradictions. Twinkies and sweet and low, teddy bears and credit cards, endless shores and the great mistake of 98. A part of but still alone, art and music in a past filled with freaks. It's finally here, the exit ramp I've been searching for my entire life, and I can't wait another second to take the final turn. <laughs> <laughs>